Hello guys. Skyla's sleeping, so I I need to be loud for the video, but I'm trying to have like a quiet voice because I don't want to wake her up. I'm going to probably have to pause this video 17 times during filming. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me, which means that it's not going to be like straightforward to the point like this is how I do everything, blah blah blah. Uh, I'm going to kind of chat. It's going to be a long one, so I'm sorry if you're not into that. I'm going to do my makeup and a messy bun while I chat with you guys because I thought that would be fun. I'm in San Antonio right now. My husband has some work to do here. So I tagged along with Skyla because we needed to get away. And while he works, we've been chilling at the hotel and I'm supposed to be working on my channel, but I haven't been. I'm sure you guys are well aware I have not been keeping up with it. I also asked on Twitter for you guys to ask me questions while I do this so that I'll have a couple of things to talk about. I know I still have some makeup around my eyes because even after I take my makeup off, I feel like it just kind of sticks on because I have false eyelashes and so I feel like I can never like keep it in check. Anyway, we're going to start with Urban Decay. This is a eyelid primer and I'm using this that I got from my eyelash place. It's basically just like a little, it's meant to take off makeup around your eyes when you have false eyelashes, but I just use it to put this on. You can use your fingers to put it on, obviously, which is what I used to do, but now that I have eyelashes, I need to be precise so I don't get this on my eyelashes. So I just put a little bit on the end of it. Oh, and by the way, my makeup brushes are like hella dirty, so judge if you will, but I don't have time to clean, clean makeup brushes. My skin is just fine, so um, I don't think it's that big of a deal if you don't clean your makeup brushes every week or whatever. So. Let's begin. I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I've already put on some, what do you call it? Some moisturizer and I use Clinique's moisturizing lotion. It comes in like a little tub with a silver top and I really like it. Um, instead of using like a primer, I just use a moisturizer. I've used the Bobbi Brown primer before and I really, I love the Bobbi Brown primer. So. I actually might purchase that um, in the future. If I ever want a primer, that would be the one I would choose. See like on this eyelid, there's, um, oh I need some more. On that eyelid, there's like still eyeliner, but I can't get too close to my lashes because if I do, if I do get too close to my lashes, I could like, they, they're already messed up. Like it has been so, long since I've gotten a fill on my lashes. It's insane. But I don't have to, when you have a baby, it's like hard to find time to get away from the house and I have to like schedule it for when Nick's at the house and that's on weekends. So like on weekends, I want to spend time with Skyla and Nick together, but that usually ends up being the time that I get out to like get my nails done or get my lashes done or like I finally got my hair done, which was amazing. Let's see, I'll ask, answer a question now. What would be your dream job, job if you didn't have YouTube, the Yetis, or the ranch? I was actually just talking about this yesterday. Where is my eyelash thing? Guys, this video is gonna be so long. Um, I was talking about this yesterday. My dream job would be, I'm taking a, look how dirty this is, but this is one of those like real techniques, metals, um, eyeshadow brushes and then I have my naked palette and I usually like use a mixture of this little guy this little guy and these two little guys I'm not kidding I just kind of like whip up my magic so I'll show you while I'm doing it I just literally do this I'm not a makeup artist so anybody who's watching this expecting to get like a makeup video <laughs> you might want to just switch it off because this is not a professional makeup video this is like a normal like how like a real life person does their makeup. <laughs> um, okay, so my dream job, if I didn't have um, my ranch, YouTube, or if I wasn't a professional Yeti glitterizer, I would wanna be a NICU nurse, I think. Um, because, I'm sorry, not a NICU nurse, a labor and delivery nurse. Because um, my friend was actually here visiting yesterday and she is a, NICU nurse um, and I think that's amazing but I think that I would love 
to be a labor and delivery nurse because I loved everything about the labor and delivery process and like I'm a like huge supporter of labor and delivery nurses. I think they're amazing. They made my experience like by far the best that it could have ever been. So that would be my dream job. Now for the little creasy crease. See like that's what happens when you just blend a bunch of crap together. For the crease I usually take this color which is called Radar. This is the Naked Smoky palette by the way if you want to get it. And I just put this in my crease. Very amateur hour. Skyla's kind of moving around. Okay. Put that in the crease and kind of just like on the edge. So there is nothing fancy about this. This is just total. I need to see what's going on. What does your ranch do? Well, I'm a fifth generation owner, so it was passed down and passed down and passed down in my family. And it used to be a cattle ranch, so um, we had livestock. And then um, now it is no longer like a working ranch, like a cowboy ranch. Now it's a hunting ranch, so I have, um, I lease out sections of lands for sections of land for hunters to hunt exotic game and um, white-tailed deer and doves and quail and um, javelina hog and aw dads and stuff like that. Okay, so now for my eye liner on the top, I use like a little angled brush. This one's from Target. It's the Sonia Kashuk. Is that how you say it? Kashuk? Sonia? SK for Target. Um, angled brush. And I just put it, it just depends on the day how I'm feeling. Right now I'm gonna put it in the black because I'm feeling cray cray. And I just dip it in that and then I kind of just like pull my eye to the side like this and I, whoa, that was backwards. I'm trying to like look in my little camera. Whoa, I keep doing it backwards. This is gonna look insane because I'm trying to use my camera screen to fill this in. Kind of a fail. Okay. What's your favorite part about being a mom? Well, that looks better than I thought it would. My favorite part about being a mom? Um, every single thing. I don't know. I love being a mom so much. It's by far my favorite title that I've ever had in the world. It's just like having somebody to take care of and to be responsible for and to love and just like I don't know like I feel like I can't even find the words for it I love everything about being a mom I feel like I was made to be a mom so my eyelashes are false and are their eyelash extensions I go to the amazing lash studio and I'm on like a subscription um, they draft out of my account monthly and it gives you one free refill and oh, it's not free it's like $45 a month and then they draft you and you get one refill that's included every month and so um, I don't put mascara on my top lashes so Skyla needs me I'll be right back I just realized that I was doing a snapchat and I realized like one of my eyes is like way darker you know what's funny is like I always do one side of my face like way darker I can't help it Look at Skyla, she's in the dark top back there. That swaddle she has is so cute. It has like little purple or like little, yeah, purple and blue elephants. And um, it's from that boutique that, um, if you guys saw like our matching set, um, the matching robe and matching gown that we wore, it's from um, that boutique. It's called the Mother Baby Bond. It's in Katy, Texas. And they sent us that swaddle and that set. It's so cute. Um, I'll link their shop so you guys can check it out if you want to. Thank you for sending that to us. Okay, hopefully my face is even now and I can get back to talking about my lashes. Uh oh, can I help you? I need a refill desperately on my lashes, but I cannot do that, like I said. So this is what I use. It's basically like, this is what it looks like. It's a little brush like that. And I got it at the Amazing Lash Studio and I kind of just, they're cooperating a little bit today, but that's because they're almost completely gone. <laughs> but I don't put mascara on them. You're actually supposed to comb from the top and like sweep out. 
but I can't do that for some reason. So I do it the way you're not supposed to. Anyway, I guess whatever way you can get them all separated out is the, the best way. Every single task takes you three times the amount of time that it would have taken you before you were a mom. How did you get your blonde hair so long and healthy and what are your favorite blonde hair care products? Thank you, first of all, for the compliment. Let me figure out what I'm doing next with my makeup so that I can answer that, okay. Um, I'm gonna do concealer now. I'm almost out of concealer, and but this is one that I use. It's Lancome um, Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. And I am i don't know if I'm gonna stick with this one. I like it, it's not like revolutionary, but I like it. And then this is a blending sponge from Blush and Glow. I'll link them, because I have a code, a 15% off code for them if you guys want. I like that this blending sponge is like, sponge is firm. The other ones are really squishy and this one's like harder. And I feel like it makes, it gets more makeup on my face, if that makes sense. Like the soft ones, I feel like they soak up the product. And I feel like I waste like money on product because they sponge in the foundation or the concealer. I mean, it basically eats your makeup. So then you end up having to buy more makeup. This one doesn't do that, which is why I like it. Okay, so the way that I got my hair long and healthy, it took a really long time because I had really damaged hair. Like I bleached my hair, I did all this really bad stuff to it. And it took time, but I think the main thing that made my hair get long and healthy was I found a really good hairdresser who like, basically she told me the things that I was doing to my hair that was damaging it, like bleaching it and like heat styling it every day um so stopping blow drying it as much as possible like air drying my hair as much as possible um not using hot tools on it as much as possible that definitely helped but it was basically it started getting long when i made the underneath dark so that it could get healthy again because making your hair blonde makes it unhealthy so i did the underneath dark so that i could grow it out and then I was doing like partial highlights. I wasn't doing like a full head of highlights because that is damaging. So partial highlights on the top and dark underneath until it got long. And then I don't trim it except for like once every three months. I basically don't trim my hair until it starts feeling unhealthy. Because a lot of times you go in and they trim your hair, you know, every time. So if you get your hair done once every six weeks, that's a lot of trimming. So I only trim my hair when I feel like it's unhealthy or like once every three months. And then when I do, I'm like barely take any off the ends. Like I don't, I, I always tell her that. And she, she, I just have a really good hair stylist. And I think that's what made my hair long and healthy is that I have a good hairstylist who listens to me. And I also really like Aveda products, like hair products. I, I think they work really well. Um, what else? Aveda. I like Bumble and Bumble a lot. A lot, a lot. Man, my voice is cracky today. I hate when my voice does this. Bumble and Bumble and Redken. I think those are my favorite brands. Now that I have concealer on my face, I'm gonna put on my foundation and I'm gonna use the same sponge even though there's concealer on it. And no, I'm not washing it in between. Whatever, priority. This is actually the Urban Decay Naked Foundation, but the like outside covering broke. I dropped it and it like came off. So this is what's on the inside. Um, it's the 4.0 and it's almost out, so I need to order more. And the funny thing about this is when it's almost out, it like squirts all over the room when you try to get it out. I'm on the last dry, I really need to go get some more. So I just literally put this on the exact same sponge. I mean, there is nothing fancy about the way I do my makeup. I feel like people are gonna be like, you're disgusting. <laughs> oh well, it works. I feel like my makeup looks really good when I'm done, so it's all I, really, it's all I care about. Okay, um, what is your current five year plan? more kids moving job etc um yeah we definitely want more kids like i think when skyla's one we'll think about trying again we're gonna be doing natural family planning until skyla's one which we all know how reliable that is not very 
um, but that's what we're gonna be. We're gonna be trying natural family planning. Like, my goal, oh, Skyla, you're having a rough day. My goal is to be back at my, like, um, previous weight, which is in between 120 and 130. If I'm in between 120 and 130 with my body weight, like, I, that's when I feel the best about myself. So, this poor thing, you keep just knocking it out, don't you? Um, <laughs> she's so cute. Um, my goal is to be back down at my, in between 120 and 130 pounds by Valentine's Day. So if I'm back down to my goal weight by Valentine's Day and we just happen to get pregnant anytime after that, I won't be upset. But I think we'll start actually like trying again once Skyla's one. Um, I feel like it'd be really hard to have a baby anytime before that, but you know, I wouldn't hate it. And then moving, I think we're gonna be staying where we are like for a while. But it just depends on Nick's job. Um, whenever like he moves up, we'll probably have to move. I think like the next time Nick moves up in his company is when we'll move, which I don't know when that'll be. Probably within five years though. And my job, my job goal is to just stay doing YouTube. So hopefully that works out. But now that my foundation is on, I'm gonna do a setting powder with a very, once again, a very clean brush. This is one of the Real Techniques Metals brushes. And then I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And I know there's like, there are a bunch of different ones that you can get. This is the original Mineral Veil Broad Spectrum SPF 25. And that's what it looks like. And what I do with this is And I just like put it under my eyes first. All over my face. <laughs> I'm sorry, Skyla. She's very needy right now. And the funny thing is she never gets like this. <laughs> of course, like right when I film my video is when she like needs me. Okay, now that's done. What's next? Um, I think now I'm gonna do bronzer. And you guys are, I'm sure gonna think this is insane, but I'm using the same brush because I have like a bronzer brush that I use when I'm trying to do like contouring, but I feel like it gets really aggressive and like I look like Bambi or something. I got that line from someone who commented on my video, but it's true, like I feel like when you do too much contouring, you're like, is this the Lion King or is this real life? This is what I use. This is the Urban Decay Naked um, Flushed Palette and this one is Strip. Um, that's the color combo. I don't use this blush anymore. I used to and you guys really liked it, but I don't use it anymore. So I like just put this big brush I know guys, but I put this big brush like in between the two and I just do like this. Looks like there's a big line there, but like in person there's not. And I just like keep doing that down here. <laughs> this is not very helpful. <laughs> to do your makeup, I'm sorry. Okay, next question while I'm bronzing my face. <laughs> do you have any tips on how to stay on top of chores with a baby and what do you miss the most about being pregnant? Okay, I put Skyla in the rock and play. I fed her and then I put her in the rock and play, so maybe this will have less interruptions. <laughs> okay, so once you have a crap ton of bronzer on your face, then you can start putting your blush on. I use another um, Real Techniques brush, this one, number 300, Metallics. The blush that I use is, where is it? It's MAC, and 
let's see what it's called. It's called Gentle and it's the Mineralized Blush. It's kind of sparkly. And this is what it looks like. It's very pink. That's what it looks like. It's super pretty. I did a vlog where I like showed this one. And this is when I switched blushes. And then I just kind of do like this. <laughs> I don't know if this makeup's gonna end up like looking okay for like real life because <laughs> I am do using like a mirror far away and I'm also using my camera, um, like the display on my camera to put this on. So <laughs> who knows? It's a little much on this side, but you get the idea. Okay, blush done. Next question. Does Nick like vlogging better now? Tell him we love seeing him and how do you keep your lips from drying out and will you celebrate 50K subscribers? Uh, the first question, does Nick like vlogging better now? Yes, he's definitely warming up to it. What do I wanna do next? Eyebrows, okay. Yes, Nick is definitely warming up to vlogging so that would be a yes to that question. Um, how do I keep my lips from drying out? Uh, I don't, they're dry all the time actually. But I really love the Rosebud Salve. I think that's what it's called. You can get it at Sephora. And um, I have like another lip balm that I keep in my purse and it's by Jack Black that I really love as well. So I don't really have like a secret to keeping my lips from drying out because they are dry and every time I put lipstick on they feel, they look like super cracked and um, bad. I was actually like, you know in high school when girls say like mean comments to each other, that was actually one of the mean comments that I got. And I won't even repeat the what the girl said to me, but it was about how dry and cracked my lips always looked and it was really rude. But And for some reason like I've never forgotten it. So I don't think I'm the best person to give you advice on that. Um, and will I subscribe when I hit 50,000? Uh, not will I subscribe, will I celebrate? Yes, I'm definitely gonna celebrate, but I think like I'll do like a real celebration when I get to 100,000 subscribers because that will be really badass. And I think YouTube sends you like an award when you get to 100,000. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so for my brows, I first I like have a little thing like this that I kind of try to straighten them out as much as I can. I think I need to get them waxed. But I kind of like shape them up with this first. And then I, this mirror is kind of dirty, I'm going to use something else. And then I really love my brow thing that I have. It's by Smashbox and it's the Brow Tech To Go Crayon, Crayon It Gel, Crayon It Gel. Uh, this is the taupe one. I'm going to get for the passy. And this is what it looks like. And so this end has like a little thing like that. It's smashed, <laughs> of course it is. And then I just fill in my brows with that. Okay, I'm gonna do a question while I'm doing this. What type of skincare products do you use? You have amazing skin. Thank you. Um, well, it's obviously not from keeping my makeup clean, um, but I use, to take my makeup off, I use these, these wipes, they're called Simple Wipes and they, they're in like a green package. Um, they're just like makeup removing wipes and then I just like wash my face with warm water in the shower. Um, I used to use like a DHC cleansing oil which I highly recommend. However, I can't use oil on my face anymore because um, I have big eyelashes and it'll um, pull them off. And for my moisturizer, I use the Clinique. Uh, moisturizing lotion or whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot. Do you have any tips on how to stay on top of chores with a baby and what do you miss most about being pregnant? Um, I don't have tips, tips to stay on top of chores. Like So like the way that I'm trying to do my routine, which hasn't been working, but the way that I know that like I'll get everything done if I want to like finish everything, like my normal, like my goal routine is to I don't know if those look right. I can't really tell. I don't have good lighting in here. But you get the idea. Those are filled in now. And sorry I'm interrupting, but then I'm gonna get this gel and I'm gonna just like, see this end has gel. And I'm just gonna like set them with this gel. 
Um, so like my goal routine in the morning is to wake up, um, have my coffee, have a snack, or have like a little small breakfast, um, do my workout, which I normally never get my workout done in the morning, but I would like in a, in a perfect world, it would be get the workout done, shower and get ready. That way, like I'm actually making myself look presentable every day, whether or not I have anything to do, just because I feel so much better during the day when I get ready. So like actually get ready. Um, and actually before I work out, I would like, my goal would be to like get the house tidied up, not cleaned, but like to put stuff away, like anything that's out, like make the bed, like do a small tidying up before working out, then work out, then get ready, and then tackle like all the stuff I need to get done that day. And I actually like, the reason that my vlogs go up late sometimes is because like when I have a to-do list, I really like to get that stuff out of the way before I start on my vlogs. And so I really would like to eventually have my vlogs time locked like where you know that they're going to be uploaded Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. say or you know something like that but I'm really not the best at staying on top of chores but if I like structure my day that would be like my goal structure um, for my day if that makes sense okay so now I'm gonna do my eyes and first thing I'm gonna do is kind of clean off my waterline because I always do a white waterline on my eyes and I take like, this is a dirty Q-tip but it'll work. In the meantime, I'll answer another question. What is one of the hardest things to keep up with and maintain since having Skyla? Um, everything, seriously everything because everything takes so much longer to do. Um, I'm just cleaning off my waterline with this Q-tip by the way. Everything takes three times the amount of time to get done um, once you have a baby. So like, I, I can't think of like one single thing that is hard for me to maintain because I feel like it's hard for me to maintain everything. But I love doing it. I mean like, I obviously I love it. Um, but it's really easy to fall behind on everything. It's really easy to just like forget everything else in the world exists. And that's not good, but I'm guilty of it. So this is the white eyeliner I use on my uh, waterline. It's Jane Iredell and it's just white pencil eyeliner. And I usually like first put it on my finger to get it kind of like primed to glide on easier. I don't know why I do that, but I feel like it works. And then I just glide this over my waterline on the inside um, of my eye. Like this is your waterline. And then on like the insides, I kind of bring it out. I think I learned that trick from Anna. Okay. Next question. What is one thing you'd change about your life and what is one thing you'd never change? One thing I would change about my life is like I wish that I could like when I needed to get things done, I wish I could be more focused. Um, I used to, I still have ADHD and it's really hard for me to focus. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna be putting eyeliner right underneath here with the same angled brush I was using earlier. And I'm gonna use this one, which is uh, Dagger. Um, I used to take Adderall for ADHD because it's really hard for me to stay on task, like really hard. And you guys have seen like, I'm on like day four of like a no uploading streak and YouTube is supposed to be like my job now, so that's not good. Um, but I used to take Adderall to like help me stay on task and get things done. And like I actually was proficient and I did really well when I was on it. But once I got pregnant, I had to stop taking the Adderall. Um, and I don't plan on going back on it because I don't like who I am when I'm on it. I feel like I'm a totally different person. So I wish I was not ADHD and I wish that I could be focused and stay on top of tasks without having to be medicated because, I mean, I just wish that that was the case, but it's not. So I hate that I 
procrastinate a lot. I hate that I, I don't know, like I feel like sometimes like the entire day has gone by and I'm like, crap, like what have I done today? Like, I feel like I haven't done anything. Like I just procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate and put stuff off, put stuff off and it never gets done. So I think that's the one thing that I would change about my life. One thing that I would never change about my life is my family obviously i feel like that's kind of a given and that's kind of like a womp womp answer but i don't really know like what else to answer um like if i didn't have nick and skyla i don't think i could i don't know what i would do so that's the one thing that i would never change let me think of something like more outside the box that i would never change um i would also never change like the way I grew up because it made me, I feel like I grew up really fast because of the way I grew up. My parents were divorced when I was really young. I went in between my mom and dad all the time and um, it was kind of a hard upbringing but I loved my dad so much. I, I mean, he's passed away but um, he was just like such a rugged cowboy and I mean, it was just amazing growing up with such different parents because my mom was the typical city girl fashionista, like the woman about town, and my dad was such a country boy. So growing up between the two of them, like, it was such a contrasting experience um, going back and forth between them, but I feel like it, it helped me see different, like, types of people and like different ways of life. I'm gonna do my lips now, but let's find another answer. Another question. So I'm going to line my lips with Baby Buff by Clinique. This is like, I think it's called Quick Liner. Yeah, um, lip liner. Um, okay, what's the hardest part of being a mom? I think just wait, right now, it's like waking up in the middle of the night. Well, that and Waking up in the middle of the night, but also the fact that it's like scary. Like everything is scary. And right now the fear is like germs. Like I'm a germaphobe and that's really hard for me taking her out of the house. Cause I'm always scared that we're gonna come in contact with germs. <laughs> I just don't want her to get sick. Like I think that's my greatest fear is her getting sick. So right now, the hardest thing about being mom is a f is the fear that comes with it. Has married life changed drastically since giving birth? I know that everything is an adjustment. What are your thoughts? Yeah, married life has changed drastically because like we all we talk about is Skyla. Everything is about Skyla. Like right now, for example, we're on vacation and we're sleeping in separate beds because they didn't have a king. Um, we're sleeping in separate beds because. Um, I, like we sleep with the docatot with Skyla. So there's not room for both of us in one bed with Skyla with the docatot. So I'm sleeping with Skyla with the docatot in the other bed. And so some of you are probably thinking, well, why don't you and Nick sleep together in one bed and then Skyla can sleep in the other one? Because it's much easier when I can like reach over to soothe her just like while I'm sleeping, like if she needs like a pacifier or whatever, like I can just be like half asleep and I can like give her the pacifier. I can like, you know, like rub her arm or something to calm her down instead of like being in a separate bed to where every time she like cries, I um, to get out of bed to soothe her when if you're in the same bed as her, it's just much easier. So that's like an example, but it's just like, everything used to be really fly by the seat of your pants, uh, spontaneous and it's just not like that anymore you can't do all the things you want to do and like last night dinner dinner was borderline unenjoyable because I had to breastfeed and like people were staring and it was like awkward and then like there were birds and the birds were like jumping on the table and I was freaking out because it's unsanitary like birds carry disease and it was like freaking me out and um she was crying and stuff and like people are like giving you the stink eye because she's crying. It's like, I didn't even really get to eat my dinner because I was just focused on keeping Skyla calm the entire time. And so 
It's like you miss out a lot on each other because you're focusing on the baby. So like once you have a baby, the marriage and each other take back seat to the baby, which is how it should be, but um, I think that'll, it'll get better as she gets older. Like once, once we have all of our kids born and they're like a little bit older, I think we'll have more time for each other. But right now, having a newborn in the beginning stages, it's like, you're like, what's your name? Just kidding, it's not that bad. Um, the lipstick I just put on is by Blush and Glow, and this is um, First Kiss, and I'll link um, their website because I have a 15% off coupon like I said earlier, but this is what the lipstick looks like. This is my favorite lipstick. This is like my go-to lipstick lately. And then I'm also going to be doing the um, lip gloss in Celebrity by Blush and Glow as well. Were you involved in wedding planning at some point and how did you get into that? Yes, I thought I wanted to be a wedding planner. And I did a year-long internship as a wedding planner and I enjoyed it. But um, it is a lot more stress than I realized. And there are so many times when something went wrong at the wedding and as a wedding planner, any like if it's a different vendor's fault that something goes wrong like any anything that goes wrong even if you have nothing to do with it they blame the wedding planner because it's easy to blame the wedding planner everyone thinks the wedding planner controls the entire event which is not the case like I, we can't control what vendors do um if they make a mistake like if they bring the wrong beer like that's not our fault but we would get yelled at sometimes and it just got to the point where every time before a wedding I would get so much anxiety and I was just like so tired of people treating me like complete crap that the fun was completely taken out of it. So that's why I stopped. But basically I um, took an online course to become certified as a wedding coordinator and then I found an internship that I applied for. And then like when my internship was up I did like one or two weddings and then I like bounced out. And that's actually when that's not like the whole reason that I stopped doing it. I guess like the real reason I stopped doing it is because then I got, I started an Etsy shop and the Etsy shop was making a lot of money really fast and it was really blowing up quickly and I didn't have time to be a wedding planner. That's like the real reason. But I think if I loved wedding planning, I never would have let the Etsy shop take over my life. Okay, so that is my makeup. I'm done doing my makeup. I'm gonna show you guys my my armpits are probably a little hairy, sorry, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do um, messy buns now because that's like one of the top things that I get requested. Um, and I have three different types of messy buns that I do. Um, I'm gonna show you like the real simple, um, quick messy bun, like if you're just like running to the store and then I'm gonna, there's just like three. So here's the one that I would do if I was just like trying to, um, like run to the store really quick. Um, your hair it doesn't really matter if it's like wavy, curly, whatever. If your hair is like straightened or curled or like you've actually blown it out, your messy bun will look a million times better. But if your hair is kind of like frizzy, it might not look as good because the top will be whatever. So you, I don't know, it's hard to say like, I don't know how good you want the messy bun to look, but however your hair is styled, um, the messy bun will look different. It's like if I, sometimes when I let my hair air dry, like I get frizz and like it just does not look as good. But right now, my hair had a blowout like days ago, so it'll look a lot better. So, um, you can use any type of hair band. This is like a thicker one. It's actually like this, but I just doubled it over just because this is what I have today. So, I don't even brush my hair out. It's just down. So I just use my fingers to kind of get it um, like that. Let's see. And I'm already starting to get little frizzies from the humidity. Okay. So I'm gonna pull it up and make the top look however you want it just by like using your fingers as combs. The thicker and longer your hair, the better the messy bun will look. You might have to use extensions or like a fake bun to get this look. Okay, so now I have it like this in a pony. You take your hair tie, you pull it over like you're gonna do a regular ponytail. So it comes back around like you're gonna pull the hair completely through, but you only pull it like to here. So you've got like a tail sticking out. 
Then I grab this tail and I pull it. This is why it's better to have long hair. I pull it across and then I tuck this in the band. So it looks different every time, but like, so now I would kind of take this and find ways to tuck it under the band. And sometimes you like want a little tail sticking out, sometimes you don't like, let me see. I probably wouldn't want this, maybe I would, I don't know. But I could just take it and tuck it under the band back here. And then you'd have like some sticking out. I don't know, it's just different every time. So that's one way that I did the bun. If I want it to be like more, like bigger and thicker, all I do is take this and I just like pull it out and I grab, I like grab the hair and I like stuff it in like this to the, to the hair tie. So like, so I just ha see how I like stuffed it into the thing. And then I do the same thing. Like this is all sticking out. So I want to tuck it too. So I'll tuck that under the band in the back. And then if you have like any loose pieces that are annoying you, you can just get a bobby pin and um, pin them with a bobby pin. So there is another version of the messy bun. Okay, for this version, I'm gonna do a ponytail, same way. And I'm very sorry about my armpits. Another thing is to like get the bun really high. That makes it a lot cuter. Okay, so now I have a ponytail. I'm going to separate it into two sections like this. And if you don't have thick hair, you might wanna like tease these two pieces. And I'm going to kind of twist it and loosely like do like this around. And then take a bobby pin and pin it like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then pin the little tail. That bobby pin sucks. Goodbye. Now, like little pieces like this that are hanging out, I'll just get more bobby pins and pin them. Okay, so one thing that I really hate about my hair is I get like these things that hang down in the back. And I think it's from pregnancy and postpartum, but I just pin them up with another bobby pin. like that so if you don't like want your ears to show you can pull like the hairs out from the like the side you can just like it'll make it look a little bit cuter too if you just like pull little pieces you know and if you want more volume at the top you just take pieces like this and you just pull forward just like pull the hair out little piece by piece and it'll make like this part of your hair look fuller and more volume instead of being like slicked back but the the key to getting these buns is just long thick hair if you have thin hair you're gonna have to find a way to make it volumize like whether that's extensions or a product teasing teasing is really good um, if your hair is not particularly thick that day that you want to do a bun tease 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 use dry shampoo and use the powders. There's like volumizing powders you can get and um, put those in your hair and just like get as much volume as you can. But that is my get ready with me. I'm sorry it was like super long, um, but I wanted it to be like a chatty like 
casual thing because since I'm not like a makeup or hair guru, this is really just because you guys requested it and I want I thought it would be fun to answer a couple questions while I was doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Um, let me know um, suggestions for my next video. But um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.